Hello everyone and welcome to a very special episode of Draw with Rob With me, Rob Bidolf, there I am in my Christmas hat with Ringo um, Now I am a children's author and illustrator You might know me from books like this this is the second book in the Peanut Jones trilogy. It's called Peanut Jones and the Twelve Portals. This is my first foray into the world of chapter books. As you can see, I just can't resist doing lots of drawing. So check those out if you like reading fun, exciting stories. I do lots of picture books too. This is my latest picture book release. And it's called An Odd Dog Christmas, which has just come out in paperback. And it's kind of another story for this character here, the Odd Dog out there she is look for festive dogs a festive day it's christmas eve hip hip hooray there she is on the merry-go-round lots of reindeer on that merry-go-round and there's all sorts of christmasy things that happen in this story now you might have noticed that i am mentioning christmas a lot in this video i showed you a picture of me in a christmas hat i've just shown you my new picture book which is called an odd dog christmas that is because this video is going to be a christmasy one listen as far as I'm concerned, once Halloween is done and fireworks night is out of the way, we're all in for Christmas, right? We're allowed to start playing the songs, we're allowed to start doing some proper Christmas shopping, thinking about Christmas, planning it. Basically, my life becomes Christmas after the 5th of November, right? I think that's totally fair enough. And I'm super excited to be doing a Christmassy drawing with you today. And as I mentioned earlier, this is a very special one because I am bringing you this video in conjunction with my friends at Schleich. Now, who are Schleich? Well, they're a very, 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 very famous toy company. They make loads and loads of toys, like, for example, this dinosaur. This is a Schleich dinosaur. This is mainly what they're famous for, making kind of animal and dinosaur kind of models like that. Look at this amazing tiger. Fabulous. And they even do some fancy animals too, like this, this unicorn. I love it. It's fabulous. Why am I bringing you a video with my friends at Schleich? Well, listen, I'm sure that everyone who is watching this will be a bit like me. They'll be looking forward to that special evening in December when, when our friend Father Christmas is going to be visiting us. He's going to be setting off on his travel around the world with his stripy reindeer pulling his sleigh yes that's right i said stripy reindeer what 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 do you mean what do you mean there's no such thing as a stripy reindeer why not why can't a reindeer be be stripy or spotty or you know covered in hearts or stars or even you know rainbow colored blue green pink with yellow spots why can't reindeers be those colors well maybe in real life the majority i'll grant you the majority of reindeer are brown but when you're doing a drawing of a reindeer, especially a draw with Rob reindeer, you can do anything you like. That's what I like, isn't it? We like colorful reindeers. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to draw a reindeer, but I, it's very important that your reindeers are as colorful as possible. Shall I tell you why? It's because my friends at Schleich, they also make model reindeers like this guy here. And you know what? They are running a competition where you can design your own reindeer as colourful as you like and they are going to turn it into an actual reindeer toy. Isn't that amazing? So say you decide you might want to do your reindeer normal, brown coloured kind of thing, but you might want to give it red and white striped antlers for example. They will turn it into a toy like this. Isn't that amazing? Maybe you want to do green and white striped down with a green nose. Ooh. And then maybe you want to add a snowflake to their hind quarters. They will turn it into an actual toy if you win this competition. Isn't that amazing? I mean, those ones that I've just showed you, they're fairly kind of straightforward ones. But imagine if you did your whole reindeer red and green stripes covered in yellow stars and with bright pink antlers you win the competition, they will turn that into an actual toy. That is pretty cool, isn't it? So listen, first of all, I'm gonna show you how to draw the reindeer itself, okay? Because we're gonna draw the reindeer template. We've drawn reindeer before, but this is gonna be a slightly different one. So I'm gonna show you how to draw a reindeer template as per usual with the Draw With Rob videos. Then at the end, just before I get to the coloring bit, 
I'm going to tell you what you need to do to enter this competition with Schleich. Does that sound like a good plan? Yes? Okay, right. What you're going to need is a piece of paper. You're going to need a pen or a pencil, something to draw with, and a bit later on, obviously, you're going to need some colours to colour in your reindeer. Right. Just in case you haven't watched one of these Draw With Rob videos before, this is how they work. Lots of people say to me that they don't think they're very good at drawing, and I say that's nonsense. Everybody can draw. Some people just need a little bit of help with the order that we do the drawing in. That's where I come in, because I'm going to break this drawing of a reindeer down into little bite-sized pieces, okay? I'm going to draw just a little shape here on my piece of paper, then, I, then you can pause me, and you're going to draw what I draw. Start me up again, I will draw a bit more. Then you draw, then I draw, then you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, and at the end, you're going to end up with a lovely reindeer template, which you can then colour in and enter into the Schleich competition. Okay, you got it? Don't worry if yours, your bits and pieces that I, we're drawing don't look exactly like my bits and pieces that I'm drawing. That is the point of art, there is no right or wrong answer. In fact, I always think if your drawing isn't doesn't go perfectly, that's a really good thing because that's what gives your drawing character. Wow, I've been talking for ages. It feels like I'm talking even more than usual in this video, so I'm gonna get on with the drawing. Okay, here we go. The first thing that I want you to do, now we need to leave about a third of our piece of paper clear at the top. So I want you to start about a third of the way down, slightly over to the left-hand side of your piece of paper. And what I want you to do, I want you to draw a vertical line about that long. So what's that? Four centimetres? Something like that? A nice easy start. Next we're going to curve around and go along and up like that. So it's a kind of J shape that we started by drawing with this particular picture. Next let's carry on back up the page. We've turned our J into a U. Then we're going to join these two lines up next, but we're not going to join them with a straight line, and we're not even going to join them with just a curved line. We're going to do, we're going to start our curve off, we're going to go up and around, but we're going to stop just before we get to the middle, like that. And that's because I want you to add just some little sort of tufts of hair at the top because we are starting with our reindeer's head. And that's gonna be the top of the head. A few little tufts of fur. Then after we've done the tufts, we can carry on back round and join it up. Okay, so that is gonna be our reindeer's head. Let's give our reindeer some ears. We're gonna start with the ears today. Sometimes I like to go in for the eyes or the nose, but today I think we're gonna do the ears first. So what I want you to do, we're gonna add a kind of leafy shape coming out of the side of the head. So it's gonna come up and around like that and then it's gonna go back around and in, joining up with the head like that. And that's gonna be one of our reindeer ears. I keep nearly saying rainbow. If I've said rainbow instead of reindeer, I apologize. And if I say it in the future, I apologize. Just, you know, if I say the word rainbow, just substitute it in, just substitute it. I can't even say rainbow now or substitute. I can't speak, basically. Just substitute, substitute the word rainbow for reindeer. You know what I'm trying to say. Stop talking, Rob. Carry on drawing. Stick to what you're good at. Right. We're going to do the other ear. We're going to do a mirror image. We're going to come up and around, back around, and in. Like that. Two nice reindeer ears. Let's do the lining of the ears. I always call it the lining, don't I? It's just the sort of the inside bit of the ears. We're going to do another little leaf shape. We've done this on quite a few of the animals that we've drawn together. There we go. It's taking shape rather nicely. Okay, let's do the nose now of our reindeer. So the nose is going to be towards the bottom of the head and basically it's like a sort of rectangle. Quite big, they've got quite sort of big noses. So we're going to do a rectangle round about that size. It's important that you leave a bit of a gap between the bottom of the nose and the bottom of the head. And that's because we're going to add a little vertical line coming down from the nose, like so, and then a nice smiley mouth. Like that. Okay? Easy peasy. Let's add some little whiskers. Four little dots on either side of that central line. 
as again, I think I, we do that in quite a lot of our drawings too. And we also do the nostrils like this on a lot of our drawings. So we're gonna do a little swirly whirly bit and another swirly whirly bit there. And that is gonna be our reindeer's nose. It's taking shape nice and quickly this one, isn't it? Okay, let's wake our reindeer up now. We're gonna do the eyes right towards the top of the head. We'll do one over on this side, nice and big, like that. And we'll do another one over on this side, like so. Two nice circles. I'm gonna use my other pen to do the dots in the middle. A circle in the middle that we color in. Another circle that we color in there. And then if you like, you can add a few eyelashes too. I'm just gonna do a few at the top like that. Oh, actually, let's do some at the bottom as well. Why not? Four at the top, four at the bottom. There we go. Our little reindeer is looking nice. Let's give him or her some eyebrows. There we go. And that is our reindeer head. Now, it might not look that much like a reindeer at the moment. Let's have a look at our Schleich reindeer. You see? It's a bit like it, it's similar. Obviously we have to make it a bit simpler because it's a cartoon drawing. But obviously the thing that really turns your reindeer into a reindeer are those antlers, okay? But do you know what, they're, they're kind of my favorite bit to do, so I'm gonna leave them till the end. Let's do the rest of our reindeer's body. Because this is gonna be very important for this drawing because obviously the body of the reindeer takes up quite a lot of the toy. So that's where you can do lots of your kind of cool coloring and cool patterning to enter into the competition to get your toy made. So we're gonna do our reindeer's body next, okay? Let's start with the neck. What we're gonna do, we're gonna sort of come down, continue the head down, but at a slight angle, just down to maybe about there, okay? And that is gonna be the start of our reindeer's neck. Now we're gonna do this shape, we're gonna go around in a sort of clockwise fashion to do our little reindeer. So the next thing I want you to do, we're gonna come out to the right, almost horizontally, very slightly downhill, like that. Then we're gonna start turning in a little curve, like so. And we're gonna go into the leg and we're gonna go right down towards the bottom of our page and try and use quite a lot of this space up. But what I want you to do, I want you to sort of curve around a bit and then stop a couple of centimeters before we get to the bottom. Okay, and that's because reindeers have got very sort of interesting, quite kind of complicated hooves. Can you see? They sort of have this bit that sticks out at the back of their hoof. So we're gonna try and do that in our drawing. So what I want you to do here, we're just gonna come out very slightly, half a centimeter or so like that. Then we're gonna go down, then we're gonna go back up. So we've done this little, sort of little bit sticking out. Then we're gonna carry on round and we're gonna stop just past where we started. And we're gonna go at a right angle and then we're gonna head back up. And we're gonna go up to about there. Now it looks like the leg is all kind of curvy and strange, but what happens is once you add on this little hoof, which we're gonna do almost like a triangle but just with a little extra bit there it kind of grounds the whole thing especially when you add another little sort of toey bit just behind like so looks like a little reindeer hoof now let's draw the tummy we'll go horizontally across there then we're going to do the other leg coming down here again we're going to add a slight curve we're gonna do exactly the same thing here. We're gonna do a little nodule sticking out. It's pretty much the same, like that. It's not exactly the same, but it's pretty much the same. Then we're gonna add our little sort of triangular bit, like that, with the extra little toe sticking out behind. There we go, there's our leg number two. Then what we're gonna do, from the top of that area, we're gonna carry on we're gonna curve around and we're gonna join back up to our reindeer head, okay? But Rob, your reindeer only has two legs, I hear you say. That's because we're gonna add the back legs in behind. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna draw exactly the same shape here, but very slightly higher up. 
okay so where that started there I've gone very slightly higher up and that's because we want to use the kind of perspective to make this leg look like it's behind the other one so when we add the sort of little triangly bits see what I mean it looks like it's behind the other one same here we're going to come down here go back here do the little funny thing Boop. disappear back up into the body add our little hoofy bits and there we go our reindeer has got four bendy reindeer legs <laughs> I don't really know why I did them quite so bendy but I quite like it adds a bit of character let's give our reindeer a tail now the tails are just little kind of like again almost like leaf shapes sticking out the back like that now it's time to do my favorite bit the bit that really will turn your reindeer into a reindeer the antlers so what we're going to do just behind that little tuft we're going to do a couple of little vertical lines coming out of the head like that that's going to be the bit where our antlers join our reindeer's head and then what i want you to do we're going to draw like a big kind of semicircle. okay so it's going to come all the way up going to go to about there on that side and then we're going to do a sort of mirror image over on this side in a nice kind of smooth curve like that so it's like they've got a great big fruit bowl or something on their head <laughs> but what we're going to do at the end of this line we're going to turn around we're going to head back down and then we're going to add some interesting antler patterns so we're going to turn up right angles there we're going to come in and I think we'll turn at an angle like that, which I will round off, and we'll carry on that antler going up there, round off the ends of all our little antler elements. We're going to go back there, and that's quite nice, I think. And then we're going to follow that semicircle back around. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to do like a mirror image of this, I think. We're going to make our particular reindeer that we're drawing today symmetrical. So let's see if I can do that. But you don't have to do this, you can do any shape antlers think of it like branches of a tree bits come off other branches if you see what i mean you can make yours as complicated as you like i'm just trying to keep mine fairly simple so that's going to go up there as i said let's make it symmetrical that would come up there like that we'll turn that bit around then we'll join it back up there we go our little reindeer template what do you think i think he's quite cool I like our little reindeer. And do you know what? This is the start of our competition now. Okay? Because, as I said, they're gonna turn the winning entry into a toy like this. Whatever colors you choose, if they like it, they will turn it into a stripy reindeer, a spotty reindeer, a rainbow colored reindeer, a heart covered reindeer. Your drawing could become real. Schleich could make that happen. Okay, what should we do? Should we do some colouring first? Let's do some colouring first, then I'll tell you how to enter your drawing into the competition. Now, as I said, let your imaginations go wild. I know my Draw With Rob viewers very well, and I know how imaginative you are. When we draw like, you know, giraffes or gorillas or turtles or monkeys or alligators, I often get multicoloured versions of those animals and I don't necessarily, there's no competition there. You just do it automatically, don't you? You do stripy, I don't know, stripy butterflies and stripy peaks and spotty snakes and uh, rainbow coloured dolphins. So I know you are going to be brilliant at this competition. I want you to just go crazy. Whatever you think, stars, spots, stripes, hearts, colours. Even you could draw like a Christmas scene into your reindeer. Go crazy. I'm gonna disappear, I'm gonna have a nice, I think I might I might go for rainbow colors. I think that's what I'm gonna go for, rainbow colors. But I'm gonna go into super speed mode to do mine. When I get back, I'm gonna tell you how to enter your drawing into the competition, okay? Are you ready? Here we go, three, two, one, let's do this. Okay, so there is my finished coloured in 
multicolored rainbow reindeer. <laughs> so I can say rainbow now. I can say rainbow reindeer, right? That's quite cool. The rainbow reindeer. <gasps> There's a good idea for a picture book there. Well, I've said it on video now, so it's my idea. So you're not allowed to copy it. It's mine. <laughs> the rainbow reindeer. Right. Let me just sign out my drawing first. Don't forget, we, it's very important that all of you sign your artwork. We need to let everybody know who has created these wonderful works of art, don't we? Right, I'll tell you a bit about what I did. So as I said, I went for a rainbow striped reindeer, which I think is pretty cool. I made a few mistakes. You can see that I've got a bit of orange on his leg there. I don't mind that. Again, when we, when we make mistakes, I think that's what makes our drawings. It gives our drawings character, doesn't it? It shows that we're not robots making these drawings. If it was too perfect, it would just look like it was done by a robot. And we don't want that. We're human beings. So I like it when there's little mistakes. Um, I have done a bit of shading to make it a little bit kind of more three-dimensional. You'll see sort of down the side here, I used a bit of darker green up there to give a bit of shading. Same here, these rear legs. Just where the legs join the bodies, I've just made it a little bit darker, just to show that they're further back. And then I gave, gave my reindeer here green ears with a pink lining. And of course, look at this blue antlers with yellow spots the yellow spots <laughs> i just think it's quite cool but i did that just to show you that honestly you can do anything you like with these drawings to enter into the strike competition and as i said they will the winner will get their toy made into their drawings very made into an actual reindeer toy like this so it's super fun how do you enter i hear you ask right what you need to do is once you've finished your drawing get your grown-up to take a picture of your drawing then go to this website which is appearing on your screen now I will link to this website in my post so if you're watching on Facebook look in my post you'll see the link to enter the competition uh, in the post if you're watching via Twitter I'll also do a link somewhere there maybe on the next tweet down um, and on certainly on YouTube in my in the description of this video you'll find the link but it's there on your screen now so you go there and it will tell you how to upload your photo and enter it into the competition. Listen, they do have a template on their website as well. This is it. This is the template reindeer here, which you can also color in and enter that into the competition too. They've even, I think, got a digital one that you can color in online, or you can color this, print this out, color it in with a piece of paper, uh, color in the actual piece of paper with some pencils, and then upload it to the website too. But I thought it was much more fun to show you how to draw a Rob-style reindeer for you to enter into the competition. The closing date for entries is on your screen now. So don't hang about, get yours in by that closing date. And just to let you know, I'm not gonna be involved with choosing the winner for this competition, unfortunately. I wish I was, but it's not up to me, it's up to the people at Schleich. So they will choose their winner and they will announce it in due course. When you upload your picture, I think you have to give them an email address and if you win, you will get an email. So listen, fingers crossed, it could be you guys. Wouldn't it be amazing if one of the Draw With Rob crew won this Schleich competition? Because it's open to everybody, I think, everybody in the whole world, I think. So it'd be amazing if a Draw With Rob person won it. So make sure your drawings are brilliant. They're always brilliant. I don't have to tell you that. Your drawings are always brilliant, the ones that I see. Speaking of me seeing your drawings, I want to see your drawings too. So the picture you take to enter the competition, why don't you also get your grown-ups to post on social media or on this you know, on this underneath this Facebook um, thread. Um, and if you just tag it with this hashtag, draw with Rob, that way I will get to see it and I can't wait to see your drawings. So listen, good luck everybody in the Schleich competition. Who knows, we could see one of your reindeer <gasps> turned into an actual toy like these stripy antlered guys. Good luck, it's been lovely showing you how to do this particular drawing. I'm going to be back very soon with more Christmassy videos. In the meantime, keep drawing, keep those pencils sharpened, be kind to each other, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.